Hey everybody, what's up? This is NerdFan16. Uh, I got my whole review gear going uh, up to down. Yeah, because uh, I just got back from seeing good old Kick-Ass 2. Yeah, um, I'm using a... Um, in the living room of my house and stuff. Got Dave here. I got my ticket to prove that I was actually there for once. And let's talk about some stuff in a minute. Ugh. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> the ticket. Here it is. And, um, yeah, also, like, like, uh, kick ass's figure, and even in the ticket, they had to censor it. I don't know why. I'm probably typing. Uh, for ticket prices, I don't know. Um, I didn't, uh, I don't really remember all the trailers. This is, you know, basic everything that's been played around a lot throughout the last summer. Like, uh, the 300 sequel, which I want to get into and, uh, to review someday come March. Um, and, uh, what else? Uh, Thor 2, which I'll probably do in November. Because, honestly, this is probably the last summer movie I'm going to watch this year. And, uh. Dave, any, any comments? Don't spoil the movie. I mean it. Like, like, don't do it, dude. All right, all right, I won't. Right. But you can spoil the crap out of that Kick-Ass Three. I love the book. Yeah. Um. So yeah, my thoughts are gonna pretty much be the movie itself. I might do some minor spoilers. Uh. Probably not a whole lot. Just you know, anything you thought what would happen. Uh. Probably is gonna happen, but I'm not gonna name names or anything. Uh, <coughs> motherfucker gets it hard. <laughs> uh, it sounds really dumb. Um, I like one of the teaser posters. This is like the final draft one that I saw at the theater, and it was and this is not bad. It shows off all the major players in the movie. And uh, well, with that out of the way, Dave. Yeah, you can set it up. Um, so if you didn't see the first movie, it's uh, it stars a kid named Dave Luzinski. That's him. Yeah, and, um, I can go. And, um, apart from being camera shy here, he tried to be the world's first realistic superhero. And, as you may expect, he does live up to the name Kick-Ass. First day off, he gets his ass handed and everything. Um, in the comic book, uh, for Big Daddy's case, it was revealed that he was actually just a normal guy, security, like, you know, mall security, not really a legit former cop. So, uh, I've, I've been really wondering what would have happened if the cage actually had that kind of output. But, I don't know. It probably would be a totally different movie. Um, obviously, Aaron Johnson comes back as the star character Kick-Ass. Uh, uh, McLovin comes back as a, a motherfucker. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to say his name. So if you really hate swearing at all, let me just get all my non spoilery thoughts out of the way. It is awesome. It is definitely a step up from the first movie. And if you at all want to buy or purchase the books that was based on, they also squished in a story of um, Hit Girl, which she's what she's been doing in between books when she was uh, w when she got into kick ass as a school. Um, I'm about to lose battery, so let me just get to. Uh, Jim Carrey's performance, um, despite his controversial move of pretty much not being involved in the promotions, I honestly think he got the biggest laughs out of the whole audience. I mean, what you saw in the trailer, it's even worse, if you can believe that. Uh, so, overall, I think the movie was awesome. I can't wait to see what they're going to do with the book version of Kick-Ass 3 and turn into a movie, because they... Uh, you definitely got to stick around at the ending. <laughs> I mean, if you really thought things are going to be, like, cut and paste, it ain't. Um, that's another thing. With the um, movie itself, it was reported that it had a, a smaller budget and a smaller shooting schedule. Um, probably for timing or to rush it out the door. I don't know which. But um, even with that kind of pacing problems, it was pretty well balanced by all considered. It didn't want to drag or try to remember, try to make you remember what the first movie was. They just went straight into the action when they could. And what little action you're going to get with Hit Girl, especially at the end with Mother Russia. Oh, man. It is so worth it. She goes apeshit all over her. 
in like the most friggin' amazing way. And there's even a subplot of her with trying to handle high school and a bunch of mean girls. Yeah, if you at all thought of like the best prank to do to them, she got you beat. Without a doubt. <laughs> Oh, um, so with that out of the way, this was Dave, this was my ticket, this was Kick-Ass 2, and I recommend the hell out of this movie. I have no idea why this got bombed last week, but hey, maybe we could give it a strong second week. Until then, later guys, this was Nerdfan16 on YouTube and RetroKid on RVT. Bye.